Thinking back over the past year and the success we had, specifically on the pitch, was incredible. Our team set records for least amount of goals scored. They finished seventh in the playoff spot, and they were entertaining. You could see our fans growing some of that loyalty to individual players, and it really helped sort of jumpstart what we can do this year. Opening day. It's important the opening game set the tone for the season, not just on the field, but in the stands. That's where Chris Jones comes in. In my role as Senior Director of Fan Engagement, the easiest way to explain it is really for us to just come up with stuff that our fans will enjoy. Anthem singers, pre-match performances that we do, the Gibson guitar riff, the record press, and then everything else you kind of see with the, the visuals of lighting and cryo, We've introduced a mascot this year by the name of Tempo. We're very proud to have him on board. Any way that we can entertain and engage our fan base, that's where we live. Our captain, Dax, said it perfectly the other day. Sports without fans is kind of meaningless. They're very influential in the results of the game, into the experience of the game, to the overall show. On day of game, it's a steady stream of load-ins for this, load-ins for that, and with my amazing team that I have, making sure that everyone's taken care of and we're ready to go come kickoff. After a season like 2020, the excitement is palpable. Things definitely look a lot different this year than last year from the number of folks that are in the stadium. The city has allowed us to have 40% capacity, but you know we're still committed to, to put on a good show for folks, give them that great experience. And with Nissan Stadium holding 68,000, typically, uh, it actually allows us to have a, a good crowd for our opener. Nashville has become one of America's most popular destinations, pulling in people from all over the world. Its soccer fans reflect that diversity. With just one season in MLS, Nashville SC has already built a base of fans as passionate and peculiar as historic franchises. None more so than Soccer Moses. I'm a reluctant prophet. I'm only meant to serve and lead the people of Nashville to the promised land of soccer greatness. My wife warned me. She said, this is gonna stick. Are you comfortable doing this for the rest of your life? And I thought about it probably not long enough and said, oh, this seems like a lot of fun. The typical National Soccer Club fan is someone that enjoys uniqueness, enjoys having a good time and being welcoming. If you talk to a lot of our fans, that's what they sort of want to be known for and not take themselves too seriously. Soccer, it illustrates the best of teamwork and the best of a collective effort. And I think that's also what it means to be a good citizen and a good fellow in your community. We love this game, right? But maybe as important is what this game brings to humanity and the, the beautiful things that it builds and camaraderie and competition. The fans were a key part in Nashville's bid to gain an MLS franchise. They will continue to be a big part of their success. The energy that they bring on that south end and everywhere else around the stadium is unmatched. Tennessee is a soccer state. I'm excited for the future. It's bright. I just hope that getting to that promised land doesn't involve me dying before that happens. On the next Dream Together, we take an insider's look at the offseason, the second season challenges, the maneuvers, the deals from the man who makes the tough decisions.